Always knows trailing on this blood smoke. Cyber electronic super extreme green. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley, and this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my uh, nighttime spliffs. You know what we about to do? We about to get into these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory revolves around the catacombs. The catacombs. When you think of them, you probably picture bones stacked like a macabre game of Jenga, candlelit tunnels and a general sense of maybe I shouldn't be here. What if I told you, no wait, what if I wildly speculated that the catacombs weren't just spooky basements for dead people? You have to put on your walking shoes for this one. You're about to walk through a theory that is Blah, that is tightly as Parkinson's lasagna. This is going to be all over the place. What if the catacombs, those vast labyrinth underground networks, were built not to house the deceased, but to transport something far more valuable? Cannabis. Yep, that's right. The good stuff. The devil's lettuce. Reefer. Mary Jane. Doja. Ganja. Sweet Chiba. The green that keeps the life's gears grinding smoothly. Forget your middle school history lessons about religious rites and hidden passages. The catacombs were Europe's first underground cannabis highway. A pipeline for pop. Popped, if you will. Pop. That's soda. I'm not talking about soda. I'm talking about some dang right here. Here's a riddle for you. I dig through the earth. I wind and I bend. I'm carved by machines. And dirt's my best friend. I hide beneath cities. I stretch far and wide. What am I where secrets and trains often reside? Imagine with me, if you will. Europe is bustling with trade. Empires are expanding faster than your waistline after Thanksgiving dinner. And cannabis, yes, cannabis is being farmed and traded like it's the bread and butter of the ancient economy. But there's a problem. The Roman authorities, ever the buzzkills, are cracking down on the stuff harder than your dad on curfew. Moving large quantities of cannabis by road? Forget about it. The only thing that will get you faster is a one-way trip to an ancient prison, which we can all agree is not ideal for business. But those ancient weed barons weren't born yesterday, were they? No, they were resourceful, like MacGyver with a mortar and pestle. They thought, why well, use roads when well, you can build your own secret underground highway? Thus, the catacombs were born. Forget coffins and skulls. The original occupants of those winding tunnels weren't the dead. They were crates of primo herb packed up and ready for delivery like an ancient Amazon Prime service, only without the drones. And like any good conspiracy theory, this one comes with a maze more complicated than your family reunion seeding charts here's another riddle for you i'm long i'm narrow sometimes cold at night i'm often a shortcut that stays out of sight i connect what's far with what's quite near what am i moving with purpose but not out of fear okay so you got this massive underground network of tunnels running beneath the cities of europe they twist they turn and they fork off more often than a gps on a road trip from hell you need the navigational skills of Indiana Jones just to find your way to the nearest exit, which was exactly the point. According to proponents of the catacombs as cannabis highway theory, a club of roughly the same membership as flat earthers and people who swear pineapples belong on pizza, these tunnels were designed to be confusing on purpose. Why, you may ask? It's all about security. If some nosy Roman guard stumbled into the catacombs, they'd be lost faster than your grandpa trying to figure out Wi-Fi. Meanwhile, the real traders, equipped with ancient knowledge and maybe a helpful stash map, would glide through those tunnels like skateboarders in a half pipe, moving their product undetected. And it wasn't just local either. Those tunnels didn't just stop under Paris or Rome. They stretched across cities, connected countries, like the world's first underground weed highway. You know those Roman roads that everybody goes on about? Yeah, well, they were for chumps. The real business was hidden underneath the streets, like a proto-Elon Musk trying to make ancient traffic obsolete. And speaking of ancient engineering, here's another riddle for you. 
Beneath your feet I stretch and I creep. In me you'll hear echoes, a silence so deep. Built for speed or maybe for stealth. What am I connecting wealth to wealth? Now let's zoom out. You've got cannabis traders zooming through the tunnels in the Paris, Rome and Athens like they're playing Mario Kart on Rainbow Road, dodging Roman guards and anyone else who might get in their way. The tunnels become the ultimate black market, literally underground. Why go through the hassle of guards, tariffs, and noisy neighbors where you can just tunnel your way across borders like an ancient Looney Tunes character? And these weren't just casual trips. They were high-stake operations, not unlike modern hype. Instead of gold bars and diamonds, they were moving cannabis so potent it could knock a gladiator on his butt. Opponents believed it once. Inside the tunnels, the traders had an ancient postal service of sorts where they could move product across Europe with ease. The only downside, well, if you got lost in the maze, you might end up delivering your goods to the wrong tomb. Here's another riddle for you. A hide in plain sight through buried below. Moles and machines are friends I know. You won't see me, but I'll take you far. What am I, a traveler's underground star? If this walk couldn't get any longer, I'm about to take a couple more steps. Let's talk about the art. The walls on the catacombs are covered with symbols and carvings the historians claim are religious in nature. Look at what, bro. Some of those carvings look suspiciously like pot leaves. You know, the kind that make you wonder if the guy who carved it wasn't just a little high at the time. But what about the hooded figures carved into the walls? You think those are monks? Come on, bro. They're probably just ancient cannabis dealers. Stalking through the tunnels in oversized hoodies, paranoid that Roman law enforcement is breathing down their backs. Nah, this isn't so just casual graffiti according to some theorists this was ancient branding an er an early form of advertising if you will just like modern stoners slapped their product logos on everything from t-shirts to lighters these ancient traders were marking their territory making sure everyone knew who controlled the underground weed trade here's another riddle for you i twist through the ground and though i'm no snake i cut through the earth leaving paths in my wake you may not walk on me but you'll surely pass through what path do i carve for both man and crew so where do we end up at folks a theory so wild that it might just make sense after a couple blunts could the catacombs have been europe's first cannabis distribution network maybe maybe not but isn't it more fun to imagine ancient romans sneaking through tunnels trying to move their stash while avoiding authorities sure beats the usual story of bones and burial whether or not this theory holds water or smoke one thing's for sure the catacombs remain one of history's great mysteries and who knows next time you find yourself in one of those ancient tunnels you might just catch a whiff of something green the answers to the riddles a tunnel access tunnel a subway tunnel a transportation tunnel I'll see you on the next one, bruh.